Hi everyone, my name is Heather and I'm the person behind Happy Puppy Truffles. Today I wanted to share with you guys a project where you use a shikishi or a display board to help kind of display origami that you've done. I'm going to be using these two uh, shikishis today. They're a little smaller in size. Now if you don't have access to these kinds of display boards that we use here in Japan for origami and calligraphy and things like that, you can certainly use anything else. Cardboard paper, cardboard works good, uh, map paper, map, pa uh, map board, I'm sorry, works really great too. So anything that's got a nice solid finished surface to it. And I'm leaving one of them just white and then I have my other one here and I've put some blue taunt paper on it. And what I was going to do today is just a really simple origami display that you could use, for example, in a nursery if you're having a little boy and you're going for like a little nautical theme. Um, I thought it'd be fun to kind of use the yacht uh, or uh, origami to kind of make a cute uh, series of displays here. This is kind of my thinking like, you know, this is the daddy boat and then this is the, the baby boat is kind of what I was thinking of here. And, um, you know, kind of having them in as a display could be cute. So um, what I wanted to do is just keeping things really simple with colors and this particular origami is insanely easy. Um, it, <laughs> I'll, I'll show you guys a link, but it's fold it in half, pull it over so you get a 90 degree angle and then just reverse that fold and you're pretty much done. Uh, there's also the process of folding this back if you were going to use this as a finished origami but I'm just going to leave it like this and then I took for the smaller one this uh, more of the same color of paper and I'm just going to lay it right over it so that we can get this cool kind of ocean feel to everything and um, so I want to just try to kind of find a good spot first for this and it's good to kind of make sure you've got you know your boat in a good place before you you secure everything down really um, so I'm just gonna put a little bit of glue on my boat and then I'm gonna slide it under here and before everything gets too dry I can go ahead find the spot that looks good for that try to center it of course as much as I can because I'm going for something kind of geometric so you want things to have a little bit of symmetry. Um, so I've got that kind of connected and then I can go ahead and put a little bit of glue on the other side to secure it. I'm just going to use some paper so that I don't get glue everywhere. I want to make sure I can get uh, this glue on the back of everything. Um, you could start off by just kind of gluing your origami piece together by putting some in between everything so you get a nice solid completed piece there and then putting some glue all the way to the edges and on the boat and on the sail. And you could really, you know, try to fi find the colors that match the colors you're using for your nursery, for example, and have some fun with this. You could use some cute wrapping paper that you might have gotten, you know, if you found something you really like for that. Wallpaper you can use for origami too. If you've got any pieces left over, you know, you can use that as an accent for some of these pieces and create really cute, simple little pictures. So that's my little yacht boat. For the little baby boat and then for the daddy one here I thought not to you know it doesn't have to be dad it could be mom it could be grandma it can be somebody else but that was just my image in my head but um you want to because I just happen to have origami paper and it's not big enough <laughs> but I want to make sure that when I put this together my uh, wave is seamless I'm just going to first start off here by kind of gluing these two halves together and then that way when I uh, go through here and try to kind of cut it apart, I've got it so that it's not, um, you know, sometimes it can be really hard to line things up perfectly for that. So if I kind of get things glued together here, then I can go ahead and create my little scout little uh, edge here to the water. Now for this one, because I made my boat out of this light, really pretty light blue, I'm just going to use... Uh, keep the background white to kind of match the white of the other boat and just have a little bit of ocean down here at the bottom. And I don't necessarily need to do the edging for this whole bit because it's not all going to be used. So I'm just going to make sure here to fold over how much I really need. Now you can either use this technique or you can measure with a ruler. I don't. 
I usually like using rulers, but this part I don't like wasting my time with it, so we can kind of just guess it there. And then I'm just going to go ahead and cut along the top edge here to create my wave. And I'm not doing anything fancy, and I know there's actually some like scissors you could even maybe do would use uh, for this, those scrapbooking scissors that have a scalloped edges. You can just, you know, do it backwards and so that you get the right edge here, but I'm just kind of randomly doing it. <laughs> and I get a nice little bit of water there. Now I'm just going to take, like I did with the other one, like I said, this is usually how the origami looks. I'm going to actually fold it out just so it's not so lumpy. And put a little bit of glue on here. And then I can just go ahead and kind of keeping this held down there at the bottom, I could slide this underneath until I can find a good place where I get a good bit of extra things going here. And then I can, again, take some paper just to use so I don't get glue everywhere. Turn this over. And again, you can, I know these are all colors that look a lot of the same, but I'm just going to put some in between the sails to keep those together. And then I can take and just put glue all the way to the edges so that I can get a nice good finish to everything on my board. Now in this case, because I'm kind of going for colors and simplicity, I'm going to choose not to stamp my work just because I like having things be kind of pretty uh, like a balance of the, those colors there. Um, but if you wanted to, you could of course put a signature or a date or something on there if you wanted to. But uh, that's just sort of my really simplified kind of take on the yacht origami if you're using it for a display for like I said, for a nursery or something, this could be a really cute extra to that. Um, and a, a nice, a cheap and easy way to decorate, which is always cool. So, <laughs> um, I'll have some more fun things like this to share with you guys in the future. Thanks again always so much for watching, and I'll see you all next time. Bye!